In the past few months, space enthusiasts have been discussing an interesting question. Which rocket, using liquid oxygen and methane as propellants, will reach the orbit first? The contenders included the American rocket Starship, Vulcan, and New Glenn, as well as the Chinese rocket Jukwe-2. Ultimately, the latter emerged as the winner of this unofficial race. Jukwe-2 is a creation of the Chinese company Landspace and stands nearly 50 meters tall. This medium lift launcher can deliver up to six tons of payload to a 200 kilometer orbit. The rocket's first launch in December of last year ended in the second stage failure and it failed to reach the orbit. On July 12th, at one o'clock universal time, the rocket conducted its second launch at the Jukwan Satellite Launch Center. The quartet of TQ-12 rocket engines on the first stage, as well as one engine on the second stage, burn methane for economic and technological reasons. According to Landspace, the use of methane reduces fuel costs by 50 to 90 percent compared to similar Chinese rockets. Additionally, methane is non-toxic and has less negative environmental impact than hypergolic propellants. During this mission, the Jukwe-2 rocket carried no payload. For land space, it was important to verify that their rocket could reach the orbit successfully. Once accomplished, the control center could celebrate. Jukwe-2 became the first methane-powered rocket to reach the orbit. Thank you for watching today's episode of Space Flight News. If you enjoyed the video and perhaps learned something new, we would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. When YouTube sees that people like the video, it will show it to other viewers as well.